So, um, players we have left in the tournament, Johnny Meds, uh, Bobby Big Balls, and Sunsei. Looks like we're going to get Bobby Big Balls and Sunsei first. Mm -hmm. um, and I heard they played recently. Well, I'm sure during the netplay era, they've played a good amount because they both enter a lot of netplay tourneys. Yeah. Uh, Bobby actually beat uh, SFAT really solidly today. Um, like, super solidly. I think it was 3-1. Huh. It was really good. You never really know what you're going to get out of Bobby Big Balls. Um, honestly, I think no one really knows. Um, I think Sunse has grown to be like a pretty solid player. Um, seems to be relatively consistent. So, yeah, I, I think I think Sunse really put himself on the map with the uh, the recent summit, and it wasn't even necessarily wins. It was almost wins <laughs> that he put himself on the map with, like that that uh, heartbreaker against Hbox. Um, Believe he almost also beat Johnny. Like he's he's going toe to toe with some of the best of the best, so he's clearly on the map at this point. Yeah, for sure. Like I, I don't actually know who's technically favored here, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I put. This, this would be a risky channel points bet. Yeah, yeah. It's it's tough to call either way, and it is Fox Falco. This this one, a lot of the times, just comes down to who's playing better that set. And uh, soon say looking pretty good so far though. For sure. Bobby's keeping this punish going. Ooh, the high side B, MBVA. Love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you used to do that every time. That's like all I, you ever did. I still do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On netplay, it's actually coming back. Yeah. yeah, especially with Falco, because his is like starts up like seven frames faster or whatever. It's annoying to deal with, dude. It really is. It really is. I like Sunsei's control Ooh. right now. Man, sometimes against spacey like hitboxes, especially bear, like Omps attacking and teching on the platform is actually just terrible for you. Because they just land and then just hit you again. Yeah, it, it becomes a, a pretty simple rinse and repeat yeah. in those scenarios. That being said, a lot of people still aren't ready for it. It's funny how, how often you Omps attack and then someone has like a free punish they can just pretty much a lot of the time they could do the same move they just did that you on attack in the first place and a lot of people still just kind of get shook by it and aren't ready for it you know what's my theory with that those what? are the people who are playing like a little too much on rank or maybe too like not playing against people <laughs> yeah. above their level enough you know not I mean? expecting it yeah so as soon as he takes game one with a like, sick little drill drill reset don't see that as much anymore most people smash gi um the drill but mm -hmm. you know, bringing it back, a little uh, Joey Alama. Um, <laughs> he used to do. He used to spam that dude. Now, now we don't see yeah. it at all. Yeah, uh, it's it's an underrated thing with Fox in general. I don't see at this point too many people use it still, even though it has a ton of good applications. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like a thing that could be pretty easily counterplayed. But if they don't, the the amount you get off it is like insane. <laughs> like you get like yeah. the world. Right. And I mean, yeah. there's not there's not much else Fox can really do that's better in that scenario. You can go for up air, but you can smash DI that as well. So it's mm. it's pretty solid. So we have a little back here up tilt wars, the classic. Oh, he reads the top platform movement. Just down here is the top platform. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. You got to do that occasionally. Yeah. Falco, one of the best at actually touching the top platform just be such a good full hop. Right, he gets up there in a hurry. He can, uh, it always blew my mind that he can just, uh, single jump and scale the, the rock. Well, not that we know about the rock anymore on Pokemon Stadium these days, yeah. but back in the day when the rock used to exist, <laughs> he yeah, could he literally just jump. do in one full hop. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like. Watching Bobby is crazy because I feel like he doesn't even know what he's about to do half the time. <laughs> yeah. Like he just he just like presses, but he's like, all right, my hitbox is on top of you. Now I'm gonna press one of like four moves, and there's not necessarily any rhyme or reason behind it. I'm gonna just see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like th there's definitely something intuitive about it. like is that he's going off intuition, you know? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem to be like um, pattern play as much, which is hard to read. But also yeah. probably means that, like, he's Ooh. spending less time on other people's habits than other players. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, 
There's some players where you almost feel like if you watch them enough, you know what they're going to do next because right. you know that they're reacting to what their opponent's doing, right? Yeah, yeah. But if they're not reacting to what their opponent's doing and they're not reacting to what they're, they're, they themselves are doing, then they're just they're just kind of random. And that's <laughs> that's yeah. really powerful in its own way, you know? It really is, yeah. It's just extremely it unpredictable. Yeah. yeah, and that last stock, the, the high side B came out again, but Bobby this time catching it with the down air. That will definitely beat that unless it's super high. So Sensei's got to be a little bit careful about that recovery option. Ooh. Okay, Sabi at top platform. That's good, man. You got He's keeping him off top platform. That, that's that been the difference maker this game. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, okay. messed up. He was trying to ledge cancel immediate down air. Right. All right. Sunse trying to go up two to nothing, and it is all best of five in top eight. So Bobby still got a little bit of breathing room if he does drop this one. Look at Bobby caring so much about top platform. He's attacking top platform when Sunse is not even there, like half the time. <laughs> and yeah. you know what? Since Sunse is not going after him after he makes those commitments, like mm -hmm. it's actually working and keeping Sunse off top platform completely. Yeah. Like, look, he's going for it again. He's just like, I think you're gonna go here. Yeah. He's he's covering the platforms in general really well. Like uh, mm -hmm. Sunse also keeps going for the side beat to the the side platforms, and Bobby covered that the last like three or four times in a row. Yeah. Look at Bobby. Look at that Nair. <laughs> <laughs> like, he is literally expecting Sunse to go top platform on almost any time there's a pause. Like, basically, whenever there's a small, small pause in action, he's making a major commitment to top platform expecting Sunse to go there. And honestly, mm. Sunse hasn't been going there. <laughs> so he's yeah. just, like, throwing his body <laughs> up there. He wins, right? But I'd like to see Sunse hit him after he makes those commitments, you know? Like, yeah, it's it's tough from the the fox's point of view to be fair as well though because i mean you're you're approaching from below falco that's generally not where you want to approach from right you're, right you're expecting to get hit in the face with a dare or something and then if he's shielding on the top plat then shield drop shine becomes a giant threat like there's it's definitely something that i think soon should at least be threatening a bit more like not mm -hmm. giving it to bobby for for free but it's it's hard to do it really is yeah I mean, and and that's the thing, right? Getting, getting rid of the platforms entirely. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So I was talking to... Who was I talking to uh, earlier? Um, I think Johnny, right? Both mm. me and Johnny were like... You know, it sounds like a newbie thing to say. Because it's like with new, it's like noob logic, right? They're like, you know, Falco should really win basically every matchup. Except maybe Marth uh, on mm. this stage. You know? Because that like there's a level one logic. Like, okay, he has lasers. So he should be good on this stage, right? Right. Um, and then there's a level two logic, which is a chain grabs, everything that, that we've all developed. But it feels like people's control on this stage still hasn't gotten to the point of where Falco's been oppressive on this stage. But he definitely has the potential. Like, the yeah. new logic isn't completely wrong, right? Like, Jorah and Lace are really good. Yeah, I I honestly uh, think that this, this matchup is a little bit overrated in fox's favor on fd i still think fox mm -hmm. wins here but uh, the chain grab just isn't as polarizing as people make it out to be interesting, interesting. <laughs> see that's what i mean with bobby style sometimes it's like what, what what i don't know what you were trying to accomplish i mean those moves landed yeah. though you did you did connect the moves uh-huh <laughs> but i don't i don't know what it was supposed to do but good job Ooh. Power shield. Oh, I got I gotta remember to ban Tope from my channel. He <laughs> he he tied me out in his channel and I'm like, oh wait, 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 let me, let me. <laughs> He did that once and it made me so mad. And I was like, wait a second, I gotta remember to time out Tope. Oh man. <laughs> okay, Whoa. I actually decided not to not to out of pity, because I don't wanna <laughs> I, I, tip for tat is tip for tat's too much. Yeah. Tope can Tope lives for now. Tope lives for now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Omsitech does nothing, yeah. but it's kind of cute. Yeah. I mean, as we were talking about before, it's usually doesn't help you out too much, but uh, it's certainly better than dying right away. Might as well take a, take a shot. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Bobby gets it. potentially could have ended this stock a while ago. He had maybe a suicide uh, dare type scenario that he opted to just go back to stage from and then Sunsei's up B hit him, and he's been living ever since. Okay, he's got laser control again, doing some back airs. Ooh. Very nice. 
extremely, yeah. extremely pretty. Yeah, good movement there. The wave lands. Empty, empty jump wave lands still so underrated in the meta these days, I feel. Yeah, it's really good. You go so far. Yeah. Oh, ooh, can you get this? Like, yeah, that's a really hard ooh. stock to convert, actually. Mm hmm Yeah. Since I just giving that one up. Okay, and this time covers it with the Edgehog. Good stuff. The pace this game has been really in uh, Bobby's favor, though. So we'll see yeah, if he wins. One grab will, will even it up, so. Oof. Oh, good read from Bobby. Mm. Covering a lot of stuff here, but not quite getting the kill yet. Control so hard to get around. Okay. Gets the Ooh. tech chase. Falco sack roll so big. Mm. Back air. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Wow. Yeah, that was a good crouch cancel on the getup attack. Pretty much clinched the game for Bobby, who's now one game away from winner's finals. It did clinch the game, but he went for dash attack instead of what you usually go for, which is F smash. Right. Dash attack gave him one more opportunity because I think it was like a 160% Fox. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's pretty sure there's a DI not to get back here there, right? Yeah, if maybe if he had DI'd all the way out, could have yeah. potentially avoided a follow up. Yeah. yeah, so you know, these sort of things matter. They they actually make the difference. If you just right. went for a smash there, you would not have to go for another mix up. Right. Okay, but. so we have two two one now. Um in Bobby's favor. Um I think the platforms are helping soon say I think Dreamland, honestly, is what I'm thinking. Based on how I'm seeing the flow of the set. Yeah, okay, it goes back to FD. Uh, see, he's got to he's got to make the punishes really count for this to be an effective counter pick because yeah. ne neutral wise Falco is fine here, and in, in fact, it, it's probably better for him in the neutral without the platform. So it, 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 really... it might be Falco favored neutral. Yeah, like Fox favorite punish. Right, but we and, haven't and, seen and, and not very and not very Fox favorite punish because the Falco combos here are really strong. Oh yeah, they're. Falco can definitely zero to death Fox just as much as vice versa. It's just, uh, you know, it takes a little more creativity sometimes instead of grabbing yeah. over and over. Okay. Ooh, tries to get that get up attack punish. Oh! Wow, I like the idea there, but ends up costing him a stock, so unfortunately. Since he actually went down for a shine and, and missed it, I'm pretty sure Bobby could have done an angle towards that stage and at least give him one yeah. more rep. Right. But good coverage from Sunsei regardless. Ooh, and he covers low that Very time. Nice. Sunsei's been doing the side, uh, the high side B so often this set that I'm impressed that Bobby was ready for the low one that time. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh. it. This happened yeah. to Bobby at quite a few times this one. That's not the first time. Where he gets shined off and he immediately like down does an aerial. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think... wow. Oh, wow. These wow. mistakes are I costly. It's just two stocks eliminated. It's just, you know. Yep. And it's now power the shine, man. Grab. Okay. That's it's crazy that in two FD games that was the only chain grab we've really seen, and it was <laughs> like three reps, <laughs> and then it was it's over. Hard, it's hard to get a grab on Falco the lasers, man. It's, yeah. It's really hard. Like in the end of the day, like if all you're doing is jumping on him with full hops, like when are you gonna mm. get your grabs? It would have to be off a tech chase or something, right? Right. Or if you can call out the unsafe aerials, but those are rare, especially from Bobby. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, oh. I like that regrab a lot. All right. Covers tech in place with shine. Not a bad option. Hard to react to. And Bobby just. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? Throwing him out. <laughs> seeing what happens. Uh, Soon as he probably is going to full hop here. And I think Bobby knows it. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah. It's just been the way that things have interacted for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that high down air. If he had done that down air a lot lower, it might have actually led to something, but... Bobby's playing this not that quite. so well. Man, he played that corner situation so well for so long, but mm -hmm. it was just a bit of a deficit, and he couldn't make his reads convert into anything. They were just like, yep. oh, I got a laser, and he couldn't get himself out, you know? Yeah, he, but he you had, gotta he had eventually... He had good ideas. I like the way he played it, but you gotta eventually <laughs> find something to get out of there, or else it's just yeah. gonna be a rinse and repeat type situation for, right. for Sunse. And he made it happen. So game five for a spot in winners finals. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is super close. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, I'm like I said, I didn't know who was gonna win this set. He, so it's Poppy that goes Dreamland. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't understand. 
feels like the flow of the set, it's been soon say, you know, Bobby had to make huge commitments to stop the platform game. And yeah. it feels like, you know, the lasers have been good control, so I understand why Bobby wants some space. But at mm -hmm. the same time, it's probably too much space. It could be. It's. I think it's just the way Bobby's been playing, where he feels really comfortable with the platforms. Even if even if Sunse is benefiting a good amount from the platforms as well, Bobby's clearly just a platform type of player where he wants that option. And then he also wanted the space that he got on FE, so he's trying to trying to get the best of both worlds here. Whoa, that double! Whoa, no! Crazy. Oh. Oh. That's so <laughs> rough. Unfortunate side B. Um, and that, that that made so much sense that he had seed there because he had to drift really far in to get a shine because mm -hmm. he had to drift all the way to the right so he just didn't time his deep press to right. be when for when he had to switch back to down yeah be okay bobby it felt like bobby needed to control every fiber of his being to not shoot a laser at that upbeat recovery so he just stood there <laughs> he unplugged his controller for a second just to make sure Omsa Tech, like I said, actually can be really bad on these side platforms, but... Mm -hmm. Oh? Oh man, and the rolls all the way across the stage. Shinsei doesn't have an answer for it, though. Ooh, okay. God, I can get this. That's so mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. Just... Good recoveries from Shinsei. Okay, first Ooh. hit. Oh, I like that. That's oh. pretty. That's pretty. Yeah. That was an interesting up B from Bobby. I'm not sure if he had lost his jump and had to do that up B or he just decided to do an early up B, but either way it worked out. Oh my God, roll shine. Everyone uh -huh. who's played against Netplay Falco was mad in that moment. <laughs> you know, he's just jumping around doing some stuff and then he just rolls into you and shines. You're like, all right, that's a neutral one. Uh, he, he just won, he just won neutral. He got it. <laughs> he got it, he good got job. It. No, you earned it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, dude. Ooh. Right. Okay. Uh, what? I was scared for Sunse that his double jump got taken by that second bear, but smart of him to play it safe. Ooh. Oh okay. wow. Down air was a risky option. Ooh. Hey. Some Ooh. of these full hops are getting red. Alright, goes for the forward smash. Very hard to close this one out. He doesn't even wow, try. Sick angle. Mm -hmm. Light shield back here almost worked. Interesting. Okay. Decides not to Omsa tech that time. Probably a very good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> worked out. Ooh, nice. And Sunse, it feels like the only time Sunse has really been able to successfully edge guard Bobby outside of Shines is uh, the Edgehogs. Yeah. And sneaking so him in there. Some read, some some big committal read, so it's, it's mm -hmm. been tough, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back here? Okay, he, he goes high. Well done by Bobby. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. got to go high there, pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of kind of game over if you don't. Okay. Soon stay backing off a little bit, not trying to push the lead too hard. Oh my gosh, Bobby's just ledge dash rolling. Oh. And that might be it. Okay. Goes straight with the up B. I, Bobby. Is this <laughs> controller broken? What is this? Like, <laughs> like, light shield rolling. Oh, like, I don't shit. know. That's just, that's just how Bobby plays sometimes, dude. It's weird. Yeah. It's so weird. Okay. He's got to finish this. Okay, this should be okay. it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Finally gets it. Let's see if he gets an opening. Gets his one shot. A little bit ledge stall for Fox Invincibility. Again, the same position. Oh, he tries to read top platform. It doesn't matter. Ooh, Can you yeah. believe it? He goes for the downer on top platform. <laughs> Correctly reads the top platform movement, but I guess the top platform's too large. The downer misses, and he just dies. Yeah. Wow. Um, great stuff from Sunsei, but definitely felt like uh, Bobby made some key mistakes throughout, but... That's kind of the player he is, right? He's so volatile of a player that, like, a lot of the times you kind of almost expect those SDs and stuff like that from Bobby. Um, but yeah. still unfortunate either way, and he's still in loser's bracket, of course.